All right, boys and girls, how's it going today? Uh, we're out here in central Kentucky out on a little nature preserve. I've set up a station here at this picnic table. So we have the Chameleon Empaths 2.0 set up there next to this tree. I don't know how that's going to do. Um, we're trying to stay under the tree here just because we have this uh, sleet coming down. It's supposed to turn into snow, so we'll see how that goes. It's about 30 degrees right now. Uh, but essentially, I just wanted to get out here, set up a station, see if we can get any contacts, maybe do a little bit of JS8 call. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and see how it goes. Apologies for the background noise. As you guys can probably see, uh, all this ice is falling here. Um, and it really bounces and reflects a lot off of the leaves here. So, I don't know how that's going to come through in the audio, but I guess we'll see. The good news is that the waterfall looks relatively good with some low noise, lots of activity. Uh, so let's tune around a little bit and see if we can maybe do a contact one or two, and then maybe we'll get JS8 call started. It kind of depends how wet the gear is going to get here. So I kind of have to improvise a little bit and uh, make some cover. Okay, let's see here. You are going to be free tomorrow, so uh, hopefully we can catch up tomorrow. Guys, take care. Uh, 73 all around, and uh, hope uh, hope to work you again, uh, Brian. You sound uh, like uh, my kind of guy. Get easy, Jeff. W-A-T-O-W. Okay, 73. Whiskey 4, Kilo, Kilo, Yankee, QRP Portable. Whiskey 4, Kilo, Kilo, Yankee. CQ, 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 calling CQ 40, hello CQ. I will try a couple more times. CQ 40 meters, hello CQ. This is WA2 FPQ. boys and girls so we've been out here I don't know probably an hour now uh, looks a little bit different don't it So we've, uh, we've been calling CQ and we've been trying a couple different stations out here for probably over an hour now and uh, haven't had much luck. We are in a pretty good valley here and in the middle of the woods. A uh, small little clearing right where I'm at. But uh, I don't know, we might have to call it wraps. Uh, battery on the camera is freezing up and not wanting to work and uh, battery on the ICOM is pretty low but I'm not worried about the ICOM. Let's give it just a few more calls and if nothing we'll probably have to wrap up and get out of here. All right, boys and girls, how's it going? So we just got done packing up. We're in the process of hiking out of here. I just wanted to show you what the weather looks like. Um, yeah, so really quick, just to recap, we tried to do an activation today. 
uh, set up a station under the cover of a big tree. Uh, we knew that some bad weather was moving in, so we wanted to knock out a couple contacts. Now, I called CQ for, I don't know, maybe half an hour, and I tried calling other stations for probably an hour. Um, so, we tried. We did our best. All right, so let me explain what's going on. Uh, so I came out here probably about two hours ago to try and operate some radio before the snow rolled in. And uh, as you can see, the snow is definitely coming down. Um, I actually just got back to the Jeep from, uh, from the location that I was at. And, uh, you know, we called CQ for probably 30, 40 minutes. And <clears throat> we tried calling a couple other stations and had no luck probably for over an hour. And uh, so I packed up, you know, my camera batteries froze. So recording this on the iPhone, so we'll see how that goes. But the camera froze up, uh, everything got pretty wet. And you know, I decided it's time to pack up and go home. But as soon as I got back to the Jeep, I realized, you know, that this is exactly what the channel is about. The channel is about emergency communications. And if I was in that location, regardless of how bad the location was, we were trying to operate from a valley, so it wasn't very good. Uh, but if I had to get comms out of that location and, you know, I tried for an hour or something like that, would I just pack up and give up? No, I'd keep trying. I'd keep trying until I establish comms. So that being said, I got back to the Jeep. I was just about to go home and I thought about it. So I turn around and I'm actually walking back uh, to the location that we were at. I'm going to set up all the equipment again and we're going to try a different mode. So if we can't get voice comms, that's fine. We'll, we'll try data. Uh, we'll try Winlink, we'll try JSA, but we got to get at least one contact. You know, this is not to chase contacts. This is not to prove some kind of point. And this is just for me. Um, I enjoy practicing. I enjoy training. And I understand that, you know, these types of scenarios are real life scenarios. You're not always going to be able to set up in the ideal location uh, with the best conditions. So I'm going back. I'm going to try to get at least one contact down, whether that's over Winlink or JS8 uh, because text is just as good as voice in my book. So let's head back there, set up and see how it goes. We're right back at the table where we were just probably 30 minutes ago. So uh, let's go ahead and get the antenna and radio set back up and we're going to try a different mode now. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we have the Chameleon MPAS 2.0 set up again. Uh, we have our uh, Microsoft Surface tablet here. Uh, we have the ICOM IC705 set up. I have it covered up with some gloves so it's not getting absolutely soaked here. Let's go ahead and get Winlink started here. Okay, I don't hear anything, so let's hit, uh, let's hit start here gonna tune up it's a good sign we have a low battery <laughs> all right so it looks like we uh, have a connection established here yep so we're connected to a uh, kilo bravo 5 lima zulu kilo which is 760 kilometers away from us in Arkansas. So uh, from here, the radio does everything on its own, which is good because like, it's probably 29, 30 degrees. My hands are pretty cold. Um, I don't know how much more I'd be able to do. So I have that message posted to my outbox and I just let it do it from here.
Okay, yeah, so it's sending now. You can see how fast that message is being sent. I mean, that was like three seconds, four seconds. Yeah, and it's currently downloading a message. And so you'll see the progress bar move from this side, from the right side to the left-hand side. And that's downloading fast. When you see four different data streams like that up here in this right corner, that's good. Yeah, and it looks like we got a message here from Jason from KM4ACK. Okay, so total time, two minutes and 10, uh, 10 seconds to send that message and to download a message. So uh, where there's a will, there's a way. You know, voice comms, we're not working in this situation. Um, and that's fine. You know, we can try data comms. Data comms are a lot more efficient anyways. Um, so we set up again. We got a message out. And now I think we can actually pack up and get out of here.